Madden 06 is the tale of two different games, the sixth generation version and the seventh generation version. The seventh generation version, AKA Madden Next Gen, was definitely a video game. EA did what they do best and they lied. They showed a very deceitful trailer for Madden Next Gen to give off the illusion that what we were looking at right here was gameplay. Of course, you can look at this and say people like me were stupid for ever even believing in this, but as a kid who was mystified at the thought of what Next Gen was, we were hyped for this. This is going to be the greatest football game ever. So the actual game was mediocre and all of the fan favorite features that were in the PS2 version were missing. The PS2 version was just filled with so much content because the game was built off the previous versions. You can actually do things like play the Burnout Revenge demo. <laughs> we moving. Oh my God. I'm okay, everyone. All right, I'm not okay. Please send help. You could do these fun mini camp games. Yeah, I got a silver medal. Good job, Vic. Not only is he a great football player, but he's also a great role model. My favorite was always the running back one. Get the fuck off me, bitch. Don't worry, we'll do a run through of this someday. The new game mode that was featured in the PS2 version of Madden 06 was the NFL Superstar mode, a career mode where you control your athlete's journey through the NFL. Upon starting, you can import a player from NCAA or NFL Street Volume 2, but doing so, you'll miss out on the greatest feature in Madden history, your DNA makeup. You have parents here. I always wanted Madden to incorporate mechanics from the Maury TV show. Your parents play a big role into what kind of player you'll be in both ratings and personality wise. Your parents come from different backgrounds. My dad makes me take my shoes off. Well, we could live with this Flintstones ass family, but you could reroll, which will prompt my favorite screen in gaming. Get a new set of parents? Yes or no? I just love that this is a thing. But yeah, there are so many different backgrounds and occupations. My mother's into magic tricks? Well, alakazam, I have a new set of parents now. It's just cool to see what you'll land on. You even run into a few good men reference. Your father can be a former player. He could be a Pro Bowl player on a D-line or a Hall of Fame quarterback. He could be a career backup wide receiver. You'll have your father's NFL pedigree. Well, what is even his pedigree? Warming the bench and giving out high fives? Your father brings them in safely. Oh, he's a pilot. Well, in that case, I hope so. So after re-rolling a bunch, I think I found the worst one. A father that's a low IQ gamer. He's just like me, for real. I eventually went with the gamer Hall of Fame quarterback father and the high IQ mother who's a telemarketer. And we're just gonna lead this man the way his parents made him. So you start out in your apartment. You can't do anything yet, so we sim up until we get an interview. These things happen throughout your career. The questions are pretty cut and dry. What do you like to eat? pizza. This along with other stuff will shape you into what kind of person you are portrayed as. My appearance is low. I am very ugly. Oh, who would have thought appearance meant how much unnecessary bullshit you put on your guy? You see, this is a guy with a bad appearance, but this... Well, this is the drip master. After the interview, we hire an agent. Now, I love the agents in this game. It's clearly a bunch of dudes from the development team. Hmm, I wonder how we can demonstrate that these guys are agents. Oh, I know. Cell phone, cell phone, cell phone, cell phone, cell phone, cell phone, cell phone. This guy must be super important because he's talking on his cell phone while having another phone in his other hand. Each agent has different specialties and requirements that they want in order to take you in. Like this guy represents people with great parents. So like what the main guys you want are the dudes that can get you into the performance institute to train not all agents have access to it and the ones that do are the best agents that require a lot without having those agents you can't get in there because they got that shit locked up like coach carter so we sign with the dude that's going through an existential crisis look at this man we move forward and we have to take the pre-draft iq test listen i'm gonna be up front with y'all i got 40 percent stupid some of these questions I don't know, man. You can call me stupid, but I'm gonna defend myself. A thwart? Is, is that how you say it? Second question in, and we're throwing 18th century old timey words at me. Would you like to go hunting for a wild game? What? How wide is Lambo Field? I, I don't know. Who knows? 
was that? What kind of bird would you be? Well, I would like to transform from a hawk to a cardinal personally. Hey, look, it's a cameo from that one hit video game that everyone loved. Oh, math. Okay, so let's solve the left side first and... Uh, oh my god, I forgot time was a thing. Uh, this, I guess. And that was the test. We move on to the draft and we got drafted by the Bills in the third round, which is the best possible place we could have landed considering their QB situation was non-existent. So now let's talk about your cell phone. Former NFL running back Terrell Davis is your mentor for some reason. This is where people will leave you messages to update you on what's going on. Like you have this dude who designs your webpage. His name is Dexter and he sounds like this. Hello there, this is Dexter. So I had a great idea the other day. I decided to keep an online scrapbook of your career. Every time something memorable happens in your career, I'll create- The computer is your hub within your hub. This has all the NFL statistics, but also your own personal attributes. You can hire or fire an agent, and throughout the year, Dexter makes paintings of notable things that happened in your career. You can walk into your agent's office to make a prediction, demand a trade, hold a press conference. These things can boost your popularity and whatnot. You can also get a haircut and tattoos and remove the tattoo you just got. Like how big of a loser do you have to be to get an EA Sports tattoo even in their heyday. I'm just looking at you side-eyed. By the way, I gave my guy these tattoos. Also, the guy who runs the Performance Institute does the worst Arnold Schwarzenegger impersonation ever. Hi, this is JC. I wanted to tell you about my world-class gym. It's the place to work out. We'll help you get stronger, faster, and quicker. One thing about us, though, you need to have an agent that has a deal with us before you can walk in. This guy fucking sucks. Speaking of Arnold, the, the agent I signed with has ties to Hollywood. So we're offered a movie role, Nerds and Dwarves, a movie about a young gamer who's transported to a land far away. Did they offer this to me because of my EA tattoos? Because I can remove them. But yeah, I'll accept. So you're given a script and you have to memorize your lines to a T. Great performance. Now reading the script is kind of weird. The only way you can return to your land is to talk to a female. There's one catch. She can't be a 400 pound nerd. <laughs> okay. So we get through preseason and we are named the starter. Now let's talk football. I know we're seven and a half minutes in and just now starting to talk about football. Playing these PS2 Madden games is such a throwback because the the game just works, which shouldn't be a novelty, but it is. You appreciate the little things like the cinematic cameras when kicking off or when you dive into the end zone. The refs are not only on the field, but they can be seen throwing penalty flags wherever there's a penalty. Cool little detail. Also, this was made in a time before all the safety rule changes were made, so we have tackles that reflected that. Damn! The one complaint I do have here is that you have to play the entirety of the games. So I have to play defense even though I'm a quarterback. Imagine if you picked a punter, you can go through a whole game without ever stepping onto the field. So we play through a season and we are rookie of the year despite putting up the world's most basic stats. Even a playoff berth where we lose but still. In the offseason, I was invited to play in the Madden Bowl against the Rams kicker. Also, this is the weirdest thing in this game if you actually think about it. It's like some Inception level stuff. My real life self is playing Madden 06 in a mode where you make yourself and in that mode, my game self entered a tournament where he plays Madden as himself. Well, anyway, we win the Madden Bowl. There's also an opportunity to get on the cover of Madden. This is like the most meta game ever. Hi, Mike Molinari here. Hey, the EA people are not going to go with you as their cover guy this time. <laughs> uh, judging from the Madden curse, maybe this was for the best. Next season goes much the same, though I've somehow won the MVP despite putting up relatively the same numbers. You mean to tell me no one was better than this? We go through a rough playoff gauntlet to reach the Super Bowl against the Eagles, where we win in overtime. With a four-man front. Throws on the move. Just gets his feet in. The Bills are an African dynasty no more. Honestly, that's like five rings in one. And with a Super Bowl win, we upgrade our apartment to match. No more elementary school looking desktop computer, we got a laptop now which is all I wanted in the end, and that's a great time to stop here. Madden 06's NFL Superstar mode does a lot of interesting things that, 
for some reason are taken out of future installments. The ability to choose any position? Gone. In more modern Madden, you can only pick a certain number of positions and sometimes you're just locked to quarterbacks exclusively. Screw the kickers. The DNA stuff? Gone. All of the side stuff like movie roles, agents, sponsorships, all gone. At one point for newer Madden titles, the focus was to put on these lifetime-esque stories. Like this in Madden 20 where you have a terminally ill fan who um, abruptly stops communicating with you. I'll leave you to connect the dots. Stuff like this just doesn't understand what the player wants. Like knowing your mother was judge, jury, and a juggler.